Hello everybody, Flick here. It's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Wolf the Red Hood Diaries. This is a game by Grin, and it's the action platformer. Now this is a build that was actually at Gamescom, so if you're at the event, or if you watch someone's coverage from the event, this isn't going to be any different as far as this particular game goes. It's the exact same build they had there, and it's three different reasonably short sections showing off what the game is about showing off the puzzle aspects the platforming aspects and a little bit of combat as well it's kind of like a dark tim burton-esque twist on little red riding hood in the very same vein as kind of like the the alice in wonderland games wonderland i just said wonderland games from the early 2000s and i'll talk a bit more about where the game's going, etc. Once we get into it, I might as well just start on the left and work my way across. So let's start with the sewer side, and I'll, well, I'll be quiet while we get a little bit of narration here. Mary sat beside me in third grade. Her skin was fair, and her hair was bright. Her mind, not so much. She copied my homework. I ate her lunch. One day, Mary's mother sat in the principal's office, crying. We instantly knew. Yet another girl missing. Yet another mystery in tomorrow's paper. Speechless, we all wondered who would be next. Her seat remained empty, as did my stomach around noon. So there we go, that's a little bit of backstory. I'm not sure how it's going to fit into the main scheme of things, but people have been going missing. So I assume that Red Riding Hood, or Little Red Riding whatever, Red Hood, although I can't really say that because that's a Batman thing, whatever, I assume that she's trying to get to the bottom of it. Anyway, the game is in Unreal, as you may have saw, I can't remember if it said as the stage loaded. Either way, it's very pretty. Now, one of two complaints I have with the game is going to be very apparent as soon as I do the first jump, so just watch this. The jumping is very, very floaty. It just is not quite where it needs to be, in my opinion, to be a, a platformer where it feels like things can flow. So I definitely don't enjoy the, the jumping aspect. Hopefully that will be worked on. But the game looks great. Also, I do have some camera control, even though it's kind of like it forces you to have this camera angle to give you a better idea of where you're going to go with jumps. Now, those baskets are checkpoints. And as far as I'm aware, there's actually no reason to go across that way because you have to come this way. Because I think it just leads to a dead end over there. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's a dead end over there. So we'll just come this way. And as I say, each of these three sections aren't very long. So I don't expect this to be a very long video, even if I do take my time. But we'll carry on here. And obviously I know where I'm going and what I'm doing. So, But I'm playing this via Steam. Although the full game will be on PC, obviously. It's also going to be on Xbox, PS4 as well. Now, I'm not sure on release date. And there is a Kickstarter project ongoing, so that will be linked in the description box below. In fact, that will probably be the only thing I link because through all of this, the actual website is, you know, the URL is right there in the bottom of the screen there. And yeah, it does say that this is alpha, so, you know, keep everything I might complain about or compliment, for that matter, with a grain of salt because it's alpha. It's very, very subject to change, you know, insert my usual alpha blurb here, please. I should also point out I'm using the 360 controller, but you can use the mouse, I believe, because I can have the mouse on screen, can I? No, it was on the main menu. I had to move it off the screen before I started recording. Uh, but no, I'm using the 360 controller, so I'm using the analog stick to move, A button to jump, and I can also attack with the X button and then also the Y button. But we'll talk a bit more about the combat after this section, because there's no combat involved in this one. For some reason, to use these, I have to use the shoulder button. And I've got no idea why. Why can't you put it on B? Maybe B is going to be used for like some special power, but... It feels no, it's not intuitive that I use a shoulder button to be my like my interact. Also, if you can hear Skype, apologies. I forgot to go on busy, and because this doesn't have mouse support, it's going to be very difficult for me to go on busy. So, grin and bear it. I think the music in this game is loud enough that it will drown it out a little bit. I like the it's very fairy tale esque the sound, isn't it? So now we can go this way. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, you have to start the the crates going. Now you do actually die in a hit from anything other than basic enemies. So if I touch this steam, I assume that will... Oh, I need to turn the... So much for me doing this quicker. I forgot you have to turn this back on down here to stop the pipes. Yeah, so if I fall in the water, you die. If you get hit by a spike, you die. But in combat, you don't die instantly from attacks. Right, there we go. We need to open this up again, and then that will make the steam start going on and off. And that means we can get across. 
unlike usual when I do like a let's look at where it's, you know, they're always first impressions unless otherwise stated. But I didn't like play this all the way through and then record my second run straight after I actually played this a couple of days ago, so forgive me if I'm a little bit hazy on what I did back then, but I have played through everything this build has to offer. Alright, let's see, let's wait for that. It feels like there needs to be a, a dash button or a roll button. Maybe there, oh, there's a creep button actually, I didn't realise that. <laughs> I like that very, very exaggerated tiptoeing. Okay, so now we get to do a jumping puzzle, and as I say, I don't like how floaty the jumping is. Oh, oh yeah, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> that was close. Didn't realise there was a big space after every... Must be after every, yeah, after every four. But never mind, we'll just go around here. That was very close. Now we're actually in the last puzzle of this section of the build. Once we get across here. Also, apologies for the dog barking. She's very cross today now. Do I need to go over there first or over here? I think I need to go over here first. The idea is there's a big grating over there on the right that perhaps you can see. We have to open that up and get out. So we need to bounce. These fire, flamethrower, whatever, are all insta-kills as well. So if we turn this, what does this do? Remind me please. That opens the exit but it makes those drop. Yeah, so now we need to go around to one of the sides but it opens up the opposite side. So we're going to have to come back through here again in a second. But we'll get a checkpoint around here first. Keep up with me camera please, thank you. We're still going to have to do one more jump before... I'm going to wait. I'm not going to take any chances, I'll just wait. Right, checkpoint. So now when we hit this switch, it won't actually unlock this puzzle here. It's... well, sorry, this, you know, obstacle here. We have to go around the long way. Because it's always like that, isn't it? And then that will conclude this section and we'll get into the one involving combat. It's a little bit of... well actually no, it's mostly combat focused and then the final section is very much a kind of you've learned everything from the first two parts here's a bit that mixes them together a lot. Oh, skipping the jump over here and the pipe shall lead us to victory. Oh there we go. So I haven't checked the Kickstarter before starting I forgot so I can't tell you how much they're wanting so unfortunately I can't comment on the value proposition can I just... Ooh, doop, 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 doop. I didn't need to do that, but still. So yeah, that's where that's going to start, or stop rather, and then we can get straight into the second part, because it'll throw me back to the main menu. Yep, it will. Good. Just make sure it's still recording. Fine. Yes, it is. Grin! I like your company logo. Alright, so now we're going to do... Oh, why? Is quality low? No. Oh, that made the resolution change. So by quality, it means resolution. Okay, back to low. Is my recording window still okay, or is it off-center now? I wish I didn't do that. I've never seen that Lord bit there before. It looks off. It looks well off. Ah, okay, I'll need to restart, so please bear with me and I'll be back in a second. We're back! Sorry about that. Let's carry on with meaner, meaner pastures. And this is the one that has a blood road combat. I'll be quiet again for some more narration from Red. The bang, Father taught me. I hope it hurts. I hope your sheep's burns as well as your evil mind. Now, let's leave this doom city behind. Okay, so in this part we've we're fleeing from a city. There's wolves here, and I guess there's I was going to call them fairies, but that sounds a bit too nice. I don't want to start killing nice little fairies. I don't know what they are. No. I was mentioning about the floaty jumping and the other thing that's very basic at present is the combat. There's no nuance to it. I have a light attack and a heavy attack. That's it. I just button mash to victory. There's no combos, there's no dashing as I said, no dodging, no evading. So I guess maybe the focus of the game is on the platforming and the puzzling more so than the combat because it definitely feels tertiary to... Alright, how do I do this again? Hang on. Oh right, I need to cut that. Alright, I remember. Yeah, so the combat is not... Oh, I didn't have enough momentum. Whoops. The combat is not strong at present. Hang on a minute. Don't I need to move this somehow? I can't remember how I did this. Oh, I remember now. There is a run button, but there's no evade button. There we go. Clear a bit more space that way. And now fight a few more of these weird little things. I've got no idea what they are supposed to be. Also, I'm noticing a bit of V-Sync there. It's weird. Anyway, 
to come down here and I believe there's some more fighting to do. Or platforming. Let's try that then. Do it in one smooth motion. Just keep running. Oh, and here. There we go. And then we go this way. This one is actually shorter than the first section. There seems to be no discernible difference between light attack and heavy attack either, I must say. I don't seem to do any more damage. I should have tested actually, like, do just, like, X attacks on one of them and Y on the other. I think that's actually where that bit, yeah, that's where that bit ends. So this time I won't hit the quality button, because quality just means resolution and it throws my recorder off. <laughs> but, the game can be played in higher resolution if you want. So the final bit, heavy metal. I'm going to have to be quiet again while there's a bit more narration. Ten years and fifteen inches ago, I was killing time and monsters with my tiny tin soldiers while father finished up work. Suddenly, a shadow crawled over my toy army and a cane knocked over my front line. Bring your kids to work day, is it? He barked at my father. That was my first encounter with a wolf. It haunted me for many nights. The music was a bit too lively there for the tone, I think. But yeah, that was Wolf, so that's the, the villain. It's not an actual wolf. Or maybe he is in the end, who knows, but he's an industrious villain who seems to have been taking control of the toy factory. So that's why the toy soldiers here are evil. That's close. Oh, uh, it was close again. I like the visuals the most of this section out of the three, for sure. Let's test the damage thing I was talking about in the second part. So the next time I run into an enemy, I'll use just light attacks, or what I assume are light attacks, because I think they're slightly faster. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. And then on the next one, I'll try just heavy attacks. And there we go, Wolf Industries, protecting your safety. Give me another enemy to smack, please. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same amount. Okay. So yeah, there is no difference. The angle of the swing is definitely different. Oops. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't insta-kill me. I got caught by it. Hop, skip and a jump. Um, I just land on this, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh I thought I was supposed to land. Oh. I'm trying to rush and it's going to get me killed at this rate. Here we go. So I believe we've got a bit more fighting after this puzzle and then that's actually it. There isn't much in here as I said. But it does give you a taste of what they envision for the full game in terms of tone, in terms of gameplay. I should have dropped down there, that's going to kill me. Yes it is. I should really concentrate more on what I'm doing sometimes. Let's try that again. Yeah, so it's going to be on PC, it's going to be on Xbox and PS4. And there is a Kickstarter, oh, I got stuck, I'm going to have to wait now. There is a Kickstarter which will have more details about what's planned in the full thing and how you can support it if you choose to. And if you don't choose to, just keep in mind it's an alpha obviously, so there is more to come. And it is subject to change. My only complaints... Oh, this is where it ends because of that puzzle, yeah. My only complaints are the jumps feel floaty and the combat feels unsatisfying. Those are two things that are most probably not being worked on or the focus of the work going on for the production of this build. They were just showing off the general idea of what they had for Gamescom, I assume. I'm speaking for them here when I don't know for sure, but that's the impression I get from playing it. I love the aesthetic. I like the music. The voice acting sounds okay to me, what little of it there is to hear here. So beyond that, this has been Wolf, the Red Hood Diaries. There will be a link to the Kickstarter below, and if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It helps me out and the developer as well. And I shall see you next time for more gaming stuff. Ta-ta for now.